So here's this quote for what may be happening behind the scenes um, and why there's such weirdness with some of the things that we're seeing on the news media. So uh, this is Justin Trudeau, prime minister of Canada. He said, this pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts, to reimagine. Now, we're already hearing um, in- important words here, reset, reimagine, and that this is things that they were trying to plan before the pandemic, and now they're capitalizing on the pandemic. All right, so uh, to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges like, now here's some more buzzwords, extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change. Now, even as a layman, so I want the expert opinion here, even as a layman, when I read that, that's very unsettling to me, not to mention Bill C-16 and all sorts of other stuff that's going on in Canada. That's, and you guys at the Heartland Institute are, are at kind of the epicenter of, as a conservative think tank, about things like this. So I want to hear um, what you have to say. What does he mean when he's talking about a reset? And, and when he's talking about uh, rejiggering the, the economic systems that exist in our world? Yeah, um, I know of that quote. Um, I, it was actually the thing that caused the Great Reset to finally start trending on Twitter, and yeah. it, it really like turned conservative sites on it. So Justin Haskins and I, we kind of we kind of pat ourselves on the back for being a little bit able to see what the next step is, right? Instead of just reacting to the outrage du jour of uh, what's right. going on like today, we kind of like like to look a little bit down in the future and what to expect in the future. So some of the the seeds of this, we actually talked about in a Glenn Beck book that we worked with, the one that came out in April, Arguing with Socialists. Um, And we kind of saw some of this coming. And it was quickly thereafter that book came out that our sites got turned to this great reset thing. And we've been talking about it since June. And it was Justin Trudeau's comments just like a month ago that actually seemingly pushed uh, our message through into the mainstream. So um, let me follow that quote up by Justin Trudeau with a couple of other quotes. So this is, this is from Klaus Schwab, who is founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum. To achieve a better outcome, the world must, must act jointly and swiftly to revamp all aspects of our societies and economies, from education to social contracts and working conditions. Every country from the United States to China must participate, and every industry from oil and gas to tech must be transformed. In short, we need a great reset of capitalism. Uh, Here's another quote from Secretary General of the United Nations. The Great Reset is a welcome recognition uh, that this human tragedy must be a wake-up call. We must build more equal, inclusive, and sustainable economies and societies that are more resilient in the faces of pandemics, climate change, and many other global changes we face. And I've got like several more here. Well, can we just stop real quick and I just say, wow? Like really, we have to take some time because the news cycle is so fast these days and information is just like coming at us like nobody's business, uh, not to mention our thumbs are constantly on Instagram and Facebook. We, we, we should, to, can we just stop for a moment and just say, that is uh, insane. That is crazy that we're sitting here having these conversations and that these men are out in the open saying these things. Now, my sinking suspicion, and that's why I started with socialism, is that this is a backdoor for socialism. But, um, but I don't want to jump too far ahead. I just got to stop and say, guys, we got to pay attention to this. We got we to gotta think about what these people are saying, not just hear it. Well, and that is exactly what got our attention. Uh, Justin Haskins, he calls me up, I think it was back in like May. And he's like, have you heard of this great reset thing? I said, no. So he's like, well, listen to all these quotes. And he starts reading off these ones that I'm talking about, Klaus Schwab, Uh, Secretary General of the United Nations, person from uh, Executive Director of Greenpeace, uh, Prince Charles, some people of the International Monetary Fund, all using the same language, all talking about this great reset. So that's what raised our antenna on all of this idea. So we started looking into it. And yes, it is absolutely a back tour towards, I guess we can call it socialism. Like I said, that term is kind of abstract as you look at it throughout history. 
but it's it's no doubt they're not underselling it. This is their a kind of a globalist plan to overhaul the way the economy and in turn society acts, uh, how it's structured. But yeah, they they use all of these different you know buzzwords. I think you called them. Instead of talking about socialism, they talk about shareholder capitalism. Instead of talking about uh, government spending, they talk about investments. And ta- instead of talking about government mandates, they talk about private sector involvement. So all of these things, when you dig into it and you actually sift through their plans and their literature, it's th- these statements are not underselling it. It really is an overhaul of how society operates. And... Uh, you know, you mentioned my podcast in the Tank Podcast. We cover public policy, so I can get into some of like the details of this stuff and really show you what their plan is uh, to how to manipulate the economy and society. And it's it's pretty astonishing when you get into it. But but there is no doubt like how, how alarming it is the amount of people that are in on this, seemingly talking from the same playbook. I mean, you even have, uh, I can get into this as well, Joe Biden saying some of these same things, John yeah. Kerry saying, saying some of these same things, Al Gore saying some of these same things. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely something that we have to pay attention to. Catch new episodes of Indie Thinker with Reed Uerman for free right now by going to YouTube or Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Simply type Indie Thinker with Reed Uerman in the search bar and click on my face. Don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe to stay informed when a new episode drops.